Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. The points A, B, C and D lie on a circle with center O. So we can see that the points A, B, C and D are on the circle and the center of the circle is given as O. Angle A, O, B is given as 90 degrees. Angle C, O, D is given as 50 degrees and angle BCD is given as 123 degrees. The line DT is a tangent to the circle at point D. Find the angle OCD. So we are supposed to find the angle O, C and D. That is this small angle. Now let us consider the triangle OCD. And we can see that the triangle OCD is acting as an isosceles triangle because the sides OD and OC are the radius of the same circle. Since the sides are same, then the two angles, that is angle C and angle D are going to be equal. So let us consider the angle C as X and angle D as X. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write as 50 degrees, that is angle O, plus angle C is X, plus angle D is X is equal to 180 degrees. So we get it as 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 or x is equal to 130 divided by 2 which is 65 degrees. So we get the angle C and angle D as 65 degrees. 65. So we can write angle OCD is equal to 65 degrees. Now let us consider the second part of this question. Find angle TDC. So we have to find this small angle TDC. So we know the property that a tangent makes always a 90 degree with the radius of a given circle. So here we have the line OD making an angle of 90 degrees with the line TD. And we can see that the angle ODT is made up of angle ODC and angle TDC. So let us write it as angle ODT is equal to angle ODC plus angle TDC. And ODT we have got it as 90 degrees. And angle ODC was found in the part A of this question as 65. So let us find out what is angle TDC. So we get the angle TDC as 90 degrees minus 65 degrees, which gives us an angle of 25 degrees. So we have the angle TDC as 25 degrees. Now let us find out the part C of this question. Find the angle ABC. So we are supposed to find out the angle ABC, which is this angle. Now to find this angle, let us consider the triangle O, B and C. Now the triangle OBC also acts as an isosceles triangle because the side OB and OC are the radius of the same circle and they are going to be equal. So the angle C becomes equal to the part of the angle B. Now in part A of the question we had got the angle C as 65 but here we can see that the total angle C is 123 degrees so we can get the remaining part of the angle C by subtracting the 65 from 123 degrees which gives us an angle of 58 degrees. Since angle B and angle C are same we get part of angle B as 58 degrees also. Now let us consider the triangle OAB. Now the triangle OAB is also acting as an isosceles triangle because the sides OA and OB are the radius of the same circle. Since the two sides are same, angle A becomes equal to angle B. And we have a center angle given as 90 degrees. So let us consider angle A as X and angle B as X. And by using the angle sum property of a triangle, we can write now as X plus x plus 90 degrees is equal to 180. Now we can simplify this as 2x equals 180 minus 
90 or we can write x is equal to 90 over 2 which gives us an angle of 45 degrees. So we have an angle A of 45 degrees and angle B of 45 degrees. So we get the total angle B by adding the 45 degrees with 58 degrees. So we can write angle B or angle ABC is equal to 45 degrees plus 58 degrees which gives us an angle of 103 degrees. This is how we find out the angle ABC. Now let us consider the last part of this question. Find the reflex angle AOC. So reflex angle is an angle which is greater than 180 degrees and lesser than 360 degrees. So they are talking about this entire angle AOC. Now to find out the reflex angle AOC, we can make use of a circle theorem which is given as angle at the center which states that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. You can see that I have drawn a circle over here with the center O and there are two points on the circle A and B. So let us make an angle at the center of the circle by using the two points A and B. Now let us use the same two points to make an angle at the circumference of the circle and let them make an angle at point C. C. So we can write by using the theorem that angle at the center which is angle AOB is equal to 2 times the angle at circumference of the circle which is angle ACB. So if we have the angle at the circumference as for example 40 degrees, we get the angle at the center as exactly 2 times the angle at the circumference which is 80 degrees. So let us use this theorem and try to solve the given example. Here we can see that there are two points A and point C. They make an angle at the center of the circle at point O and the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point B. So using the theorem we can write as angle A O C which is angle at the center is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle that is angle A B C. Now we had found in the part C that the angle A B C was 103 degrees. So we can now find out the angle A O C by using the angle A B C and we get the answer as 206 degrees. So the reflex angle AOC is given as 206 degrees. Hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.